Hi, welcome back to my channel and this video is for CIC owners and we're going to be talking about self-care, how you should be taking time off, what kind of time off you should be building into your schedules. So this is a really important video because so many of you I find who I'm mentoring are overworked, some of you have got jobs on the side, you've also got CICs to run and the whole dream of having a community interest company is that you're supposed to be living the dream, you're supposed to be having more time off, time to yourself, time to your family. So I just want to talk in this video Video about self-care so before I get into that please hit the subscribe button for everything to the CICs and if you do want mentoring maybe you need someone to keep you on track and to make sure you are hitting your goals but also having time off and scheduling your time right so you're productive but you're also having a great life work-life balance then join my membership I've got the CIC tribe membership which is 10.99 a month which comes with an app and we've got group calls in there and the community is lovely everyone's really supportive and nice and we do lots of training events and various different features as part of the app. I've also got the CIC VIP membership, but that is gonna be closing soon. I've only got 20 spaces left. So do join that. That gives you one-to-one -one calls with me. It gives you me on WhatsApp and it has a whole nother level of extra mentoring support. So that aside, let's get into it. So I wanna just drum home really that having a community interest company should be a pleasurable thing. It should be a great career that gives you time off and gives you a great work-life balance. That's the whole idea of it. But I do find because we are so driven by the passion of how much we can achieve, we sometimes put too much on our plates and there is a danger of obviously burning out and overload. So I'm just gonna give you my five tips for caring for yourself and booking time off. So number one is booking holiday leave. Now, of course, this is totally up to you, but I would say an absolute minimum, I would like you to mark in your diaries six weeks off. So it's the usual two weeks at Christmas period when everything shuts down, and then four weeks in the year at least. And there's no reason why you can't have more. I'm just trying to say the minimum I think should be that because I think that otherwise we burn out. We need to have that block time off. And a lot of you are functioning in a way that you've got a side job and you're using that jobs leave to do your CIC work and that's not great long term. I can understand that in your first setup year you may have to sacrifice some of your spare time just to get off the wheel of being employed and onto the whole rhythm of then running your own business. I get that. At the beginning, there it can be some sacrifices. And I did that when I was a probation officer. I was doing all my forms and all my setups on my evenings and my weekends, and I totally invested. But you know, long term, we can't go on like that. So please make sure you schedule that holiday leave. Now, for some of you, um, you may take a whole block month off. You may take six months off and then just work for six months. I know people that go abroad for six months and then do projects for six months. So you can schedule it however you like that is the whole point of it, but minimum six weeks. Number two, I would say you need to take a personal day every month. It can be quite draining, doing all the admin, doing all the tasks, doing the workshops, etc., etc. So to give yourself a personal day could be a great chance for you to either just relax and be in your PJs all day or whatever when the kids are at school, you know, that one block day in the week where you're just to yourself, or you could use it as like a creative day, a development day, go out, go to a gallery, kind of just spend that time um, developing yourself and getting out into the community. And, or you could use that day to sort of develop yourself um, and just go out and just engage in some arts and culture and go to an exhibition or whatever. You'll feel so much better for it because our weekend days tend to be very busy with like house jobs, family, and a lot of duties. So I think to have that one personal day a month, which is a day in the week, is actually really beneficial. Number three is a creative week. Now, this could be, it's great for those of you who are artists to actually block off a week occasionally, where you actually just spend a whole week doing your art but it might be that you spend that week doing other creative tasks if you're not an artist. For instance, you might spend a whole week doing some content or doing something else that's you know, creative. So actually blocking off weeks actually really helps. So you can actually, especially if you're like a writer or something like that, you need to get that headspace of just getting into something. So blocking off weeks of creative weeks are also a great way to schedule your time and be more productive and get away from sort of the admin and day-to-day -day stuff and actually lock yourself away and do creative bulk work. Number four is I do an ideas hour. So this is when I take an hour 
not necessarily every day, but a good few hours a week, where I would take an hour, I might go for a swim or go for a walk, um, and that I use that time to sort of problem solve things that are going on, to rethink things, to come up with new ideas. So taking a, an hour out, if you, you could go to a coffee shop with your planner, um, just sit down, just get some quiet space and just think and get some ideas together. I find this is better out of the house. So uh, like I said, coffee, um, going for a walk, going for a swim, that kind of thing. Um, going and sitting on a beach or you know in the park and kind of contemplating for an hour so it's coming into summer it's a great opportunity to be able to do that because we can get to go out and get some fresh air as well so try to do a creative ideas hour I find this really benefits my business some of my best business ideas and some of my best solutions have come when I've taken myself away from my desk and actually spent an hour like swimming and just thinking um, about solutions so an ideas hour is another great way to schedule in and number five is about turning your phone off. Now, I'm not the best for this. I'm trying to get better at it or having two phones. But basically, we need to have that downtime. And I'm finding uh, I'm the worst for this, answering messages late at night, weekends and stuff like that. So what, um, what I'm actually going to do now is have two phones. So it's a good thing for your business anyway, because you can put your main expensive phone through your business and then just have like a little side phone, which has just got you know, it pays you go on it and just has your Wi-Fi. And then basically I use that when I'm in the house on a weekend and put the other one away. Um, so yeah, so it's good to, I think, have another phone, especially when you've got kids around. Like I'm quite mindful that sometimes I'm not always present if our little one's around. Um, so I definitely think it's a good idea sometimes to block that phone off. The other thing I do when I do have my main phone is I take all the notifications off because it's really distracting when you're getting uh, email notifications and social media notifications all the time. Because I don't know if you're like me, it's like I have to look at it if I know it's there. So having that reminder that it's there is not a good thing. It's actually much better I find to just regularly check those, you know, the, my emails and things like that throughout the day, actually go to it and check it rather than just be constantly reminded. It's also really difficult to concentrate on any work when you're actually getting constant notifications. So trying to turn off your notifications. You can also do a thing in your settings where you have a quiet mode in the evenings where you can turn your Instagram off in the evenings and things like that. So there's other functions you can use. So definitely control your phone time is my last tip. So I hope that helps um, you just have a think about how you can manage your time and look after your own well-being and get that life balance right. So again, if you need any help from me, then do uh, book a call or join my membership or jump over to my website. I've also got my blog, which has got loads of other tips and stuff like this in it as well.